Hey, Quinn, you know what I was thinking? What? Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> I was trying to float, but gravity won again. What's so funny? Gus, it hurt. Gravity will always win. <laughs> well, we don't have a video on gravity, so how am I supposed to know? Maybe they want to learn too. Yeah. Hm. Gravity has been around since the start of the universe, and it works the same exact way everywhere in the universe. Did you know that without gravity, we would float away off of Earth? It's the reason a ball comes back down when you throw it in the air, instead of floating off to the sky. So, what is gravity? It's a good question. I want to know. I just hurt my eyes landed on the ground. Gravity is the strange force that makes everything fall down to Earth. All objects have gravity, but some objects, like the Earth and the Sun, have much more gravity than other things, especially me. How much gravity an object really has is due to how big it is, and this is known as the object's mass, or mass. See, everything that has mass has gravity. So objects with more mass have more gravity. Even a tiny, small speck of dust has its own force of gravity, but its gravity is very, very small compared to something like a bowling ball, which is heavy and larger than a piece of dust. Because it's bigger and has more mass, it has more gravity. The closer these objects are to each other, the stronger their gravitational pull is. Gravitational? I think it's gravitational. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you are bad. For example, the sun has a lot more gravity than our planet, the planet Earth. But we stay on Earth's surface and don't get pulled to the sun because we live here. We're much closer to the Earth than the sun. And the Earth's mass makes a gravitational pull on the mass in your body. And believe it or not, that's what gives you weight. And we'll learn more about that in a few more minutes. Stay tuned. The force of gravity keeps all of the plants in orbit around the sun. Well, I definitely know it wasn't me. So who discovered gravity? That's actually a really good question, Gus. See, for a long time, scientists understood that there was some mysterious force that keeps us on the surface of the Earth. But it wasn't until 1666 that Isaac Newton first described his theory on the force of gravity. And his theory is called Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. It is said that his ideas about gravity were inspired by watching an apple fall from a tree. Hmm. You see, Isaac Newton saw something very familiar. He saw an apple fall down and questioned and thought, what made the apple fall down instead of floating away to the sky? Then Albert Einstein, another famous scientist that you've probably heard of, later made some improvements on Newton's theory. And when he made this improvement, this was called Einstein's theory of relativity. So why is gravity important? Well, like we talked about before, Quinn, without Earth's gravity, we would float right off of our planet. We'd float right off of Earth into space. So we'd all have to be glued down all the time. And forget about it. If you kicked or threw a ball like we do in the backyard sometimes, it would float away forever. Hey, guess what? Did you know that 
weight is based on gravity? That's right. Weight is the measurement of the force of gravity on an object. This means your weight is how hard gravity is pulling you toward the Earth's surface. Gus, what are you doing? Trying to beat gravity and pull, pull it down. It's not working. <laughs> you would actually weigh less on smaller planets and even more on larger planets. For example, the moon's gravity is only one-sixth of Earth's gravity. So something on the moon will weigh only one-sixth of what they weigh on Earth. So, if you weigh 80 pounds or 36 kilograms on Earth, you would only weigh about 13 pounds or 6 kilograms on the moon. Gravity is very important to our everyday lives. But gravity? also is important for much bigger reasons, too. Life on Earth requires the sun's light and warmth to survive. Gravity helps the Earth to stay at exactly the right distance from the sun, so it's not too hot or too cold. Hey, guess what? Gravity even helps guide the way that plants grow. Ever been to the ocean? High and low tides are caused by the moon's gravity. There is actually zero gravity in outer space. So you would actually be weightless up there and simply float around. Now you know how gravity is a major force in our universe. Use the force, Quinn. Comeback's not so good from Quinn. But she is right. Gravity helps keep us from floating away. It controls the ocean tides, guides how plants grow, and keeps Earth and other planets in our solar system in orbit. We could not live on Earth without gravity. Gravity is what holds down our atmosphere and the air we need to breathe in order to survive on our planet. When you think about it, gravity is what literally holds our world together. Hey, guess what? Now we all know more about gravity. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.